We left Marion this afternoon around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Definitely got a super late start, but that's okay. I think we kind of all just accepted that today's just going to be a low mileage day. Uh, some friends pushed on ahead of us, so we'll try and catch them today. Nemo's adjusting to this new warm environment. It's probably the hottest it's ever been since we've been out here. The bugs are out, so that's fun. Ain't going to get no real good views today, but we'll get some pictures of anything interesting we'll see. We should be crossing the interstate and an alpaca farm today, so that'll be some cool stuff. Tomorrow we'll be able to go up Chestnut Knob and all that and get some really beautiful pictures. So we'll get back to you guys here in a bit with something going on. So here we are on the trail. Just a rock scree. This is the part that I tell you when I hate about walking in Pennsylvania. This is what's like the whole state. Virginia, Maryland. It'd be like this at times, but it just isn't the whole state long. Pennsylvania does it for a whole state. It's just rock. That's why they call it Rock Sylvania. But we're not doing too bad on time today. We're enjoying this heat and sunshine. It looks like I just top of the climb finally so that's exciting we only got one more to do so we'll try and knock it out and get back to you guys at the top we've made it to the top of glade i got a picture of this sign i'll put in the video it was like 2019 this thing looked brand new back then down there's the uh town we're gonna kind of walk to we ain't got far we're gonna walk right through it today nemo's taking off downhill now i won't see her till the bottom I'm like an old goat, I'll run uphill, but you want me to go down, it takes me a minute. So we're just gonna kinda walk on. And then once we reach shelter below us, it'll level out. And we'll go down beside an old schoolhouse, a restaurant, and a few other things. And then we'll uh, get back to you guys when we hit that. We'll be crossing the interstate, railroad tracks, stuff like that. Better than that is about the view gets today. Just kind of crowded with trees but we'll get back to you guys later we made it to the schoolhouse <laughs> it was established in 1894 so pretty interesting yep so there's trail magic in here we're excited to get some we'll get some good pictures of it we're still unsure where we're gonna end up this evening but we'll see how it goes we'll get back to you guys later Probably final update for the day. We're in a meadow, about to cross the interstate. Got the railroad and pond down there below us. I thought we end up doing about either a 13 or 14 mile day. Gonna get some snacks at the gas station. Probably push on, unless we just come up with another idea. So we'll see you guys here tomorrow morning. Or later night when we get to our tent site. So we're back out here this morning. We ended up doing 14 miles yesterday. Today we're looking at about 23. And then hopefully the next few days we can start cranking them out a little bit more. We had a rough time getting up early this morning. The wind was rough. But uh, not gonna see many interesting things the first half of the day. Once we get to the pastures and everything else in that last half, we'll be able to show some videos and pictures. So we'll get to you guys in a so Here we are, out in the pastures. We gotta go up to the top of that hill over there. So we're all kinda out of breath. Nemo's killing it. We've come up a decent ways. We started down there at the road. We came off of that ridge over there. So we'll go up to that ridge. And then we'll drop back down to another pasture. Climb out, cross the road. And then we'll be done with the pastures for the day. So about four or five miles. But we'll get back to you guys with some pictures again. It's just kind of slow today. Uh, Virginia is real bad about not having high ridges or any good views or anything. Trail's been fairly easy. Just kind of steep coming up to that ridge behind us over there. But other than that, it's been a cakewalk. So we'll see you guys here in a bit.
So we're walking. We just left Bear Garden Hostel after eating lunch, and it, they were food. super great hosts, super great people. We're regretting that we can't stay tonight. We gotta make miles, but holy cow! Just as we get back to the trailhead, we find trail magic. So Nemo's gonna get the Red Bull, have an absolute sugar crash later, and then I guess me, T Bone, and Will are all gonna share Mountain Dews. So we're we're all pretty pumped right now. It's always fun when you find trail magic just waiting for you. We got about 12 miles to go. We're going to have a sunset at our camp, so it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And really just a crud ton of ups, so we're probably not going to record much until we get to the top. But once we do this evening, it's going to be so pretty. Gonna it's going to get pretty So thankful. we showed up to Lit Creek, and as it turns out, the bridge is down, so we got to wait across. And it's supposed to freeze tonight, so we're kind of really cautious about actually getting anything wet. You know what? You do your thing. You reach literally right here. So we're getting ready to cross this thing. Nemo's getting her sandals on. Me and Iron Will are going across barefoot now. It's freezing cold. It feels good on our feet. It's gorgeous out here. This is part of the AT. You know, sometimes you sign up to walk 2,000 miles, you're going to have to cross a creek or two. I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'm just going to get Nemo's reaction coming across through here because I feel like I'm going to fall and drop something. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Stupid bridge got washed out, and now we're having to cross, so... Don't nobody want to get their shoes wet to freeze in the morning. Nemo's bearing through. She's done. It's cold. T-Bone with ultimate focus. <laughs> and he's across. The dangerous waters have been forded. Yeah, I know, man. There ain't nothing like it. <laughs> So we're heading out today from Chestnut Knob. I got some pictures of the shelter and the view from it. It's not too back there from me. But we all got our little wagon train going here. All four of us taking off down the trail. Today's going to be a pretty good day, actually. It's not too rough. We walk on a ridge. There's some steeps, little ups and downs, but we're going to try and get to Interstate 77 and go a little bit past it to the shelter which is jenkins or jenny's but we're planning to do about 24 miles today yesterday we did about 22 killed a lot of time yesterday getting ready and getting started this morning it was a little cold so we started at 8 14 but still just a view you can see all the farmland down below us and how close we are to people that's fun. But we'll get back to you guys later this morning with some more recording and pictures along the day. So here we are. We stopped and had lunch at the shelter. Now we stopped at a creek and filling up on some wawa. Just hanging out. Doesn't look like we're going to get near as far as we wanted, but that's okay. It's too pretty to stress ourselves out, so... Actually, pretty good day. I tried a new pasta recipe that Nemo decided to get for us. It's a, like spiral noodles. We boiled it up and we put shrimp scampi sauce in it. And dang, it's good. It's really garlicky, really strong, but it's good. Made me brush my teeth right after the meal. It's really strong. Whew. But uh, yeah, no, we're about 11 miles from the highways. So that'll probably be where we stop at for the night. So we'll get back to you guys later. Here we are, 15 miles into the day. Another beautiful river crossing. A lot better than yesterday since we ain't gotta walk on it. Or we can walk across the bridge. Nemo's vibing out the music. We're just having us a good old time. So, looks like we're gonna shoot across the road right over there by that yellow sign. 
you see the blaze is on it so we'll get back to you guys when we get up top it's about a two mile climb so we'll see you then so we made it to the top of our climb we just seem to be cruising alongside the bluff facing down to the valley this has been a casual walk so far it's about as all hot as get out up here the temperature definitely took a change for the better but it looks like we're gonna have snow on saturday so it probably won't be long to last but we'll get back to you guys where we finally find a tent site tonight uh, it looks like we didn't grab any water on our way up so we don't do any cooking but we'll probably just hang out and eat some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches we'll see you guys then so we're back up here and it wasn't dark when we got here but we're kind of in a hurry because they uh we discovered there was pizza in town they didn't have a delivery driver so we hiked down and got plenty to eat and we were planning on camping out downtown tonight but there's a good camping area up here and uh you can't see me it's pitch black you can see there we go will shine a light on me Woo! stroh party we're at a rave you're gonna give somebody a seizure probably you get a seizure and you get a seizure we're all having fun here but no we're uh <laughs> We're going to, uh, we're going to camp out here by the road. Uh, there's little guardrails and so like you can see them right there. We're pretty far off the road, but we're going to, we're going to chill out over here. And then tomorrow morning, 18 miles, there's supposed to be some severe thunderstorms. So we will, uh, they're all having fun. It was a good night. We had plenty to eat. We had a big day. Today was a rough day mileage wise, actually. We only did like 21, but it was still just a lot. Everyone else is either camping behind us or went on ahead of us. But tomorrow we'll crash into a hostel for $15. And then we'll all pack up and we'll be in Parisburg in two days. So we'll see you guys then. So this is where we slept last night. Here's my Nemo's tent. There's a bit of the road. Down below us is the interstate. And we hitched down way over there into the valley. And once we got down there, we ate pizza, hung out for a bit, and then got a shuttle back up to here. And slept right here in this little picnic area for the night. And the trail's right here, so it's not far off trail or nothing, so. Head out to a hostel this evening, since it's supposed to be thunderstorms all night, and try and get out of this weather. So we'll see you guys Back later. out here this morning. And we just passed our 600 mile mark. Woo! We've been having a lot of rain last night. So we uh we knew the rain was coming in the evening. And we were going to push for big miles. But we ended up just pulling over at 7 miles where the rain started. Threw out our tent. And got an early start today. And we're going to try and do about 29 to get right outside of Parisburg and go in tomorrow afternoon and hopefully have a zero day and get dried out, do some laundry. Because even in Marion, we didn't get to do any laundry. There wasn't a washing machine or dryer. So we're just kind of stinking it up out here. But that's 600 miles down. So that's exciting this week. We've already crossed our one quarter of the way. We've already crossed a quarter of the way, so that's also exciting. So we're just hitting a lot of milestones these next couple days. Fresh grounds is back out on trail. Looks like he's up ahead of us, so hopefully we'll catch him in the next few days. Uh, and trail magic. Yep, and just get some trail magic. So banana pancakes. Oh yeah, banana pancakes. Nemo wants banana pancakes, so that she can't stand it. But we'll get back to you guys here later. We're supposed to have some views, and we're even going to go out to the Blue Blaze and see the murder shelter from the 80s. Yeah. So we're going to see some history of the trail. Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy kind of history, so we'll see y'all later. So, coming from someone with a little bit of experience on trail. I told a bunch of people who were heading to the shelter, I said, y'all ought to just go ahead and push into the hostel. And I think they thought I was crazy. But I told them, I said, it's going to be rough. And I mean, you're going to see trees fall. It's going to be pretty rough. So you need to make sure you're in a good spot. And 
I don't know if anyone stayed here last night, but in the gut hook comments, they said they did, and the tree fell right next to them. And sure enough, it wasn't far from the shelter at all. Snapped right off up there and fell down. Whoever stayed here last night, I'm happy you're safe. But when it gets rough like that, make sure you're in a really good spot, because it, it does not play games out here. The AT does not play games. It's muggy, foggy bugs, wind, rain, fallen trees. People die out here all the time. And thankfully, we were up safe on the ridge. And we camped up there all night. And it was windy as all get out, but there wasn't no big trees or nothing to worry about. So we just set up our tents and waited out the rain. But we'll get back to you guys here in a bit. We think we're going to hit Doc Knob today. And then we'll hit into town tomorrow afternoon. So hopefully I have a good zero. There, there. we are. Going across one of the first suspension bridges on the AT over one of the more wider rivers here. <laughs> T-Bone's over here taking videos and pictures. We're gonna go over this road over here and see if we can go get some burgers. So we'll get back to you guys here in a bit. So That's why I got into drills. I've had thing. two Yoohoo's, Dr. Pepper plate of fries, onion rings, a double cheeseburger, Nemo had a bologna sandwich and mozzarella sticks, and a, what did you have, a root I had beer? A crushed soda. And crushed now soda. I have and now a ginger ale. And then T-Bone had a frosty root beer, one of the best, the OGs, a Yoohoo, and a double cheeseburger. So we're all fat and happy. And then tonight, we're doing a death march, so. We're gonna have fun. We'll get some pictures of the murder shack for everyone back home And then Will and T-Bone I think are gonna meet back up with us. So we're gonna have a ton of fun right through those trees That was the uh, gas station right there Where we had stopped and ate lunch and now we've already gone about a mile up and you can see now That we've already gained a ton of elevation. We should be up top here in a bit It looks like we're gonna do a night march on into Harrisburg, so there won't be much recording tonight, but hopefully tomorrow there'll be some pretty sunrise pictures. So we'll Just for see curious all. minds, uh, a lot of people ask me, how do we eat? How do we resupply? The main one thing I actually got asked recently, a lot of people haven't asked me, is what about water? And a lot of people who didn't grow up in the mountains don't know, but water just runs out of header springs and stuff like that. It runs down into the bigger rivers further down the mountain. Uh, recently, Harrisburg's been going through a bit of a drought, but yesterday it rained pretty hard, so... We actually have a ton of water sources like this just flowing down. We'll just fill up our bottles, see if it looks clean, and we'll drink away. And we got filters for whenever it doesn't. But knock on the wood, we haven't had to filter yet. And we're going for another six filterless through hike like I had in 2019. So we'll uh, get back to you guys later with an update. Nemo's found her home. It's a tent site right by the river. She wants to stay so bad, but... I think our need to get into town is more important. Oh, yeah, she's taking to the water. It's gorgeous down here. I mean, it's just right down that way is Dismal Falls, but it's a ways off. So we're probably not going to go down there. Off trail, and we're already having to like book it to make it tonight. So we'll probably just stay on trail, take a good little bath here. Uh, tomorrow, try to go to the post office, grab new gear. Make it to the hostel. We got reservations, so I'm excited about that. Actually, I've been blowing through my shoes pretty bad. I'll show you guys in the video tomorrow, but like, I got my shoes are pretty gone. So we'll uh, talk to you guys here later. So we made it to the shelter. It was full last night, but uh, Nemo's using restroom. I'm finishing packing up. I just ate. We got about nine miles, 9.3 miles to get to the road where we get picked up and go to the hospital. So uh, going to be a little bit of a rough morning just because the weather's cold and rainy. There's Nemo. Good morning. So I'm really looking forward to a fun climb out of here, but... Hopefully we'll get it done quick and over with. I won't be recording much just because 
the training and water and electronics don't mix well so we'll see you guys later here we are on paris ledges only got about a 3.8 mile downhill so we're gonna get on that and try and get down there nemo's eating her trekking poles i'm <laughs> chilling out over here so we'll see you guys down there we are about i'd say about 0.8 a mile maybe from where we're gonna get picked up and on our way down, I found this uh, beautiful little waterfall here. It's not too bad. It's been a little bit of a long morning. Sprinkle showers on and off again. And now I'm about to start the only uphill we've done in like two and a half miles, so that's fun. But I'll get back to you guys when we get some food in us and probably feel a little better. I'm feeling a little down myself right now. There's just one of those moments where most people have trouble going up. I got trouble going down. And it's been about four miles of downhill, so my legs are just dead. So I'll see you guys Wonder. later. Sure. I know in the last bunch of videos, actually, I've been seeing a little bit of green, but today it finally seems spring. If you look over Nemo's head there, spring is coming in on the trees. And of course this is down low in elevation too as we go back up we'll lose sight of it again but it's so bright it's so bright so green flowers are blooming it's warm so Everywhere we walk, yep there's little flowers all around us here all around our feet it's gorgeous and homer thinking this is pretty this is neat and i i guess you still have an appreciation for it but when you're out here and all you've seen are gray clouds, which we haven't. We've had really blessed weather this year, but just lately we've had a lot of gray clouds and very little views and stuff like that. It's nice to have nature just kind of provide some value to you. I mean, it's just, it's just everything is green. It's finally happening. It's not even Easter yet, so. Or has it been Easter? 10 days till Easter. It's Nemo's birthday, so. We're excited there. Hopefully we'll be in Delville or around that area for her birthday is the plan. So we'll go get her Mexican and I don't know what we'll do to be honest. Probably get Mexican, sit in a hotel room and fix gear. Feels like that's all we do when we stop now. When it was cold, gear was roughed up, but it just wasn't as bad. This year everyone's been having like a little bit of gear issues. Nemo had feet issues, sock issues. Now my shoes are blowing out, insoles are blowing out. Uh, I got some strap issues on my pack I need to sew up. So it's just a very, very interesting start to the year. But we've already got a bunch of miles behind us. So that's very satisfying to know that it took this long for the gear to start having one or two issues here and there. But it looks like we have reached our parking lot across the road. So we'll get back to you guys and show you our room here. later. At Angel's Rest, this is our third day, or this will be our second day off trail, but our third day here. We uh, decided to take an extra day to get through this little sleet and snow problem. A few people left today. It's supposed to be pretty cold to not, so we're just going to kind of chill out here. Uh, you can see the mountain behind us where we came from pretty snowed in up top not too bad really but where we're supposed to go back behind this shed you can't tell it but there's a huge mountain right behind it that you can't see worth a dang so it's pretty snowed in right now i got my new rain jacket dad sent to me i got new insoles will and nemo and everyone's in here working on their tent and gear uh, t-bone is working on his tent as well he's been having bad leaks we found him a down jacket for sale at Goodwill, so he's now rocking a down jacket. He was carrying a full-on hoodie and sweatshirt all the way through. But over here, they got the bath houses. It's pretty nice. It's a bathroom and a shower in there. Out there, they got the communal area and nice little private rooms we hung out in. And then in here, this is the bunk room. Well, most people ask what the living situation is at these hostels are just usually bunk beds with a heater and fridge. Will's working on his tent over here. Nemo's hanging out. 
And then here's my bunk. You can tell we got an outlet and a pillow. And just somewhere warm to sleep and dry out. Here's my shoes. I got new insoles put in them and duct tape and fix part of the shoe there. Sewed it up so it's set. Then here's the old insoles out of them. I flat out walked straight down to the ground through them. Felt like a little worn out. But that'll be it. We'll get back to you guys probably tomorrow morning when we get back on trail. It's supposed to be about 70 and really sunny and pretty, so be a good day to make some miles. It's really snowing now, holy cow. Start calling the phone. Yeah, do y'all have room for tonight? A uh, little bit of both and maybe some tent. If anyone paid, not. We are leaving Angel's Rest. We've had a pretty steep climb out here in a few minutes. We'll be able to look back and see Parisburg and all of that. So I look forward to sharing that with y'all. We got about 2.7 climb this afternoon. Then we'll be up to the top. Hello. Nemo's hanging out. We got a real late start. And the hostel was a little disorganized and chaotic this morning getting us out here. So it took them a while. <sighs> it looks like Iron Will and T-Bone are all up ahead of us. Ryan and Ryder. Or probably in front of them. They've taken off like bullets today, so we'll probably make it up to the top here in about an hour. Maybe two, depending on how we move, so. I don't understand how they're moving fast. Yeah, it's hot today. It's but hot, we'll... and I am feeling the weight of my bag. It is heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. We just resupplied this morning, so yep. it's feeling heavy. But we're going to get to the top here, and we'll get back to you guys with some views over Parisburg and over Narrows. Bye. If you look right down there, right to there, be kind of like so. Right there's the curve. Right there, right there. That right there is where we started at this morning in that little green field over there. And then we came down to that curve in the byway right there. You can kind of see it through the trees and we came up this ridge here and up to where we are. And then eight miles later, here we go. So this is fun. This is what through hiking is like. You just get to enjoy looking back on where you came from. There's the town we stayed in. And looks like we're just going to kind of Mosey on up here to the ball. There's Nemo. And we're going to get on top of this hill right here, which is finally the top of our climb. Then we're going to rid, oh, give or take 12 miles. So we got a really easy afternoon now. We can take our time on. So we'll probably make it there a little late this evening, but around 7.30, we're going to stop and throw up a tent. So we'll see you guys here in a minute when we get up here to Ricefield to be are on top of Ricefield. You can see out through here pretty gorgeous this is one of the advantages of being in Virginia we're actually not that high up at all in elevation wise but as you can see everything else is just so flat and so low down that once you get up on a ridge like this we'll walk this ridge for about say 12 more miles and we'll come down off of it and that'll be the end for a few days so we hit McAfee Knob and dragon's tooth that'll be pretty much the end of our high elevation for a bit so be looking forward to easy walking what do you say nemo it's windy it's windy probably go to the trees Back 
to you guys here in a bit. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm probably gonna eat some coconut chips and boogie on. I think Nemo's going to as well. So we'll see y'all later. So we're back out here this morning. Oh, yesterday we had to make an unscheduled just because Nemo fell and bumped her head, so just wanted to make sure she was okay. Watch for a concussion. It, it dazed her pretty bad. It took her a bit to get her senses back, but she's doing good today. So we're just gonna make up the miles today around. And right at the end of it, I think we'll just have to do, what is it, Nemo? Like, we'll have to do 22 miles, 21 miles instead of, be 21 to 22 instead of just 20. It's not a big deal. We just had to stop short because she was feeling kind of skittish about walking and it getting dark. So, But we're not going to have that great of views. I think we'll have a few over the farmland. We're still down low. You can see through the trees. We're close to people's pastures and houses still. So, It's real pretty up here in the woods though today. It's going to be a new... It's supposed to reach high 70s, so we're excited about that. Uh... We'll walk down to the first shelter, which will mark four miles for us today. And then the next shelter will mark about uh, 12. And then the one after that will mark about 16. So we'll probably stop around the 16 mile mark and take us a good lunch break and get ready for our final climb of the day, which is gonna be a pretty big doozy. So we'll get back to you guys then. We're up here at the Allegheny. Yep. Trail, it's a 330 mile long trail just like the pin a lot of people don't realize that there's other trails besides the appalachian trail and the pct and etc but there's trails like these all through the u.s like the arizona trail the vent Mackay, the pin and they're all to their own state <laughs> this is the uh 330 mile long trail and it rejoins the at at about a It'll be around Maryland, right before Pine Grove Furnace in Pennsylvania at the Mason-Dixon line is where it comes back in at. So it's just kind of cool to see this. Looks like they follow the yellow blazes. You can see it's well maintained. But I think we're going to stick to the AT this time. But it's definitely on my to-do list to come back and do later. That's about it. It's just neat to see other trails join in. <laughs> just heading down off of the mountain here and which is actually a pretty good view. Good look at where we got to go today. We'll go right at the top of that one. That'll be kind of our final climb for the day, so I'm excited for it. Looking good and tall. We've just been doing switchbacks for like about 30 minutes now. Not too long. It's just easy walking. We just go down, then we'll zig, and then we'll zag back and forth. It's been really cool. My repair on my shoe is holding up pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good today, actually, knowing that that uh, cold weather's behind us. Last night it got down below 30, I believe, from what the weather was. and Everybody seemed to stay pretty warm last night, so... That was good. Me and Nemo ate shrimp scampi pasta. We found out Walmart has these little packets of like instant sauces. So we started using those and noodles. And that's been fun. Good hefty meal to put you to sleep. And we've been watching episodes of our show. Which we're almost through with. So we'll have to find something new to watch again. But we'll get back to you guys whenever we get down off of this if you wait for it, you can see Nemo coming through. Oh, where'd Nemo go? Oh, there she is. Hey. This is what switchbacks do. I'll go down here to the corner, and then I'll be walking down where she is down below me. Just go right here. and Then once I get right here, I just go down a little bit and hang a left. Instead of going downhill the whole way, it's like walking flat, it feels like. And then you'll just walk down here. And there she is. Whoa. 
I'm talking about getting on her level. All right. It's to be a short joke. Yes. We'll get back to you guys. <laughs> another thing on the AT. What? Just another wonderful morning on the AT. We just finished off our first big palm of the day. That was a, it was a doozy. It was a mile straight up. We're right at the 4,000 foot elevation line. So we started off down at the high 1,000s. It was fun, very fun. We're doing rock scramble scree here. Trail is insanely rocky. It's just stepping from one rock to the next. So it's kind of, you'd think that would speed it up. It just makes it, Kind of time consuming because you gotta pay attention to where you put your feet. It's not that fun. Cause it's just rock, 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 rock. And that's what got Nemo yesterday, so she's being cautious. But we still got a ways to go for today. So we'll get back to you guys when we get up to the rock, the cliffs, with a good view. We're probably gonna cool off for a second and drink some water. It's been a absolutely scorcher of a day. Here on Windrock. It's a beautiful day. This is a good glimpse at wilderness in Nemo's head. Absolutely wonderful. It is the epitome of the Virginia beauties. Yep. You can see all the ridges off in the distance where we're headed. Absolutely amazing. Oh, next step is to go down this climb and go up Jenny Knob, which is going to be about two to three miles of straight up. So it's not going to be very good views on this way down. It's all on the backside of a ridge. So we'll get back to you guys whenever we get up to the top of it. here's Nemo prepping to do another night hike once again because we're slow and we refuse to wake up early that's just hash doormat Nemo style Yum. we already got our headlamps on a new battery so we're ready for it uh, we're just blaring singing 1985 by a bowling super wonderful classic and just taking our time and enjoying the scenery enjoying yep. the company we're just a cruising on we only got about 2.4 more to go to finish out our day. So it's just going to be a little bit of up and all down from there. About like a mile of flat and then 1.4 down. I'm just not looking forward to the down. Once again, my knees kill me. But Nemo just crushed something that even kicked my butt. I'll post the elevation gain in the video just like I'm going to for Chestnut Knob and other such things. But, uh, yeah, no, we did a 2.7 mile climb, and that doesn't sound like much, but it's always about the elevation gain. Elevation gain means everything. So basically, elevation gain is a foot above sea level every so many miles is how we measure. So today, we did 2.7 mile climb, so two miles and seven tenths, and then you know, we only gained 4,000 feet of elevation coming up this thing, so it's all good. So almost a thousand a mile. Almost a thousand a mile. It just, you know, it makes you want to kick and scream and cry and go home, but it's all good. We're up here now and we're on top, so as you can see, we're on top. So that's all that matters. It's rocky, so we're having to pay attention. I say as I walk with a phone out as it gets dark, Nemo's excited. 24 miles after I thought I had a concussion yesterday. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Marathon. And the reason we're doing 24 is because yesterday we didn't make it to the designated spot. Because so today. We were watching for our, my safety. Yeah, we were watching for her safety, but yesterday at the whole group, including Will, T Bone, Uses, everybody, agreed on a set mileage of we're going to stop it. Pine Swap Shelter. That's 20 miles in half a day. And it was very doable with the terrain. Then Nemo tripped and got hurt. So then 
Before we knew it, we killed a lot of time and we had to throw up a tent at 16 miles. <laughs> Which is perfectly fine, that's what's more important, but the way hiking works out here is you only have so much food, so that means you gotta make up the mileage somewhere. You make up the mileage, but you also prepare for emergencies. Always pack at least half a day's worth of food. Yep. We always have a half day's extra worth of food, but we try not to eat it as much as possible. So since we only fell four miles short, we we're just gonna go ahead and throw that onto today. And just, we took our time. We weren't in no big rush to run through it. We just marathoned it real slow and steady, let everyone else go on ahead of us because they're gonna feel energized. They're only doing 18 today, so they're a hustling and a boogieing. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. So. But this is gonna be the end of the video for tonight. Uh, probably won't do one right away in the morning, but we'll see. Just because I'm gonna be grumpy waking up late and such. So we'll see y'all then. Back out here this morning. And we're gonna go about 21 miles today. We're actually gonna get a good view here later on. As of right now though, the great view is the Moo Moos. They're just kind of chilling out with us. Last night we stayed at Warspur Shelter, I think, or something else. I don't think it's Warspur. It was Laurel Creek Falls Shelter. Yeah. But it marked 22.3 for us for the day, so it was a, it was a long day. Today we're going to go 21.2 to Trout Creek, Virginia 620. So go there and throw up our tent. And we'll get back to you guys here in a bit when we walk through some pastures. Back on top. Right there beside Nemo is the business knob cairns. Now these are piles of rocks, which a lot of people have theories of it, but I believe the most historically accurate one is that these are piles of rock removed from grazing areas farmers used to pile up. Not really memorials to anything. They just pile them up out of the grazing areas because they're all around here. You can see them all piled up. But anyway, that's neat. We're about to come up on the Eastern Continental Divide. I'll grab a picture of it. And then we'll be heading down to the, uh, what is that? Nade Gap Shelter. But once we hit there, we'll have one more big climb up. And then we'll go over to Trout Creek. Where we're planning to meet up with Fresh Grounds and get some trail magic. So everyone's motivation has been up today. So we'll get back to you guys here in a bit. I'm going to try and focus on walking and make some miles. Up here on Dragon's Tooth. Two days ago we had to get out trail Nemo almost had a heat stroke. It was it was really hot, it was rough went without water, so things didn't go as planned, but we made Dragon's Tooth today. Taking it easy, we're gonna go back down to the hostel we're staying at, which is four ponds. I'll put it in the video, but it's right down there. So we got a little ways down to go. It's pretty cool up here though. As you see, it's just a straight off, off, down. We're on Dragon's Tooth though, so down there. How you feel, Nemo? I'm relaxing now that I'm here. It is absolutely stunning. It's just crazy we're actually up here, so. Alright. We're probably going to get down off of here in a minute and just enjoy looking at it from down at the bottom. This is my buddy T-Bot, it's only like come all the way up to the top, and I did, so now he's got to buy me food. But, heck yeah. Heck yeah, dinner tonight. You're going to get us a Hunt Brothers pizza and a burger. Uh, a pizza each. A pizza each. That does sound favorable. But, alright. Just get a good look at all this country. Absolutely gorgeous. That ridge right there in the middle of the frame now, straight off of this one, is the one we're going to have to walk out of here. 
and we'll watch that one to McAfee's knob. So exciting days, exciting days. Probably. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. Just to give everyone an idea of what we're doing, going down off of Dragon's Tooth is we got rebar ladder, and then it's just straight down, and we just do this over and over. Walk down our rocky little terrain till we go, as you can see, straight down to the pasture. So it's just straight down. It's fun, so probably won't get much recording done here. It's pretty dope. What? Horrible. It's horrible. All right, we'll see you So guys. here we are, back out here, beautiful spring day. Having a Green. Yep, we're just walking beside a creek right now. We got about a mile of this and cow pastures and then we should start going up to McAfee Knob, which we'll walk a ridge over to the parking lot and then we'll go pretty straight up from there to the knob, so. Hopefully we'll get up there, we'll get a sunset, and then tomorrow morning we'll go back up again and get a sunrise. So we're just going to do about 10 miles today from the hostel where we were. Had a wonderful stay. It was good to see Joe again and Sprocket and go through the yearbooks and talk about <laughs> familiar faces from my through hike in 2019. So, But anyway, this McAfee knob is going to be the number one most photographed spot on the Appalachian Trail, so that's going to be cool to see again. Last time I got some really good sunrise pictures, but we're hoping to get sunrise and sunset. After all, that's just the whole reason we're out here. Nemo says it's beautiful. Which it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. But this is probably the only flat spot in Virginia that I know of. You know, I was promised the whole thing was going to be. We found the ATC. We did it. We found the the Appalachian Trail cows. They're pretty heifers. Oh yeah, pretty things. It really is gorgeous out here today, though. Uh-huh, little calf. <laughs> we're going to go up that ridge right there to our left in a second. I'm pretty sure is what we're going to do, so. We'll get back to you guys whenever we get on top, let back down to the valley. We only go up 400, 500 feet, so it's not a bad climb at all. Like I said, we're just doing a short day up McAfee Knob. We did the math and saw our summit date. It, without zeros, without taking any days off on trail is still the exact same of what I've done with zeros, which we kind of have an idea of what we're going to do, have come out to be uh, a week later than I did last time. So we're still going to finish right at the five to four and a half month line. So we're just kind of taking our time today, relaxing on our miles a little bit, letting Nemo get a little bit more exercise in enjoying this good weather we've stocked up on sodas and snacks for the day that's a new habit we started doing is carrying town food with us out everywhere we go so that's just been kind of our thing we've been toting out a bunch of extra town food and sodas and drinks and snacks for the day just standing here taking a moment and we uh realize Right there where we were yesterday, if I can hold the camera still, that's Dragon's Tooth. That's the big old rock on top of the mountain. It's just cool to see it from down here. It's crazy. <laughs> that's all solid rock. That's insane. But yeah, I know. We 
gone up this little pasture section of the trail. You can see over behind there, with that little hill right there is where we came from this morning. We're we're boogieing along. Not bad for starting at like 12:30. We'll get done around five today. We're sweaty, and I didn't even realize she'd started walking. I thought she's still right here beside me, so I better go catch up. So we're down at McAfee Knob parking lot. It's crammed full with day hikers today, so hoping to get up here and hopefully it won't be too crowded for pick. Trail turns off a little steep here. I'll get back to you guys after we get an opening to cross this come out on trail don't be this person you see they've brought a outdoor tent family size day hiking and like six to ten person tent. they've taken up a through hiker shelter which, which granted i get through hikers not the only people out here but i mean this is just this is we, our only place to stay whereas they have cars to go back to or exactly they can, there's tent sites there, all around the, like there's tent sites around. all down through here but some of us walk 30 plus miles a day 20 plus miles a day and we hit places like this and it's just like can't even set your stuff up we can't even sit in there and look and sign our log book or anything because they've got their stuff just there hey, set up but yeah no this is not okay there's other people out here besides y'all just please be respectful of others so here we are we are Going up to McAfee Knob, got little plants here, bushes with bells on them. They're really cute. Little flower art there. Ooh. Absolutely gorgeous. Springs everywhere. But... Uh, uh. Yeah, I know. It's been a fun little walk today. It's actually, like I said, over the most photographed or most photographed spot on the AT, so it's very easy grade actually the only problem is though you with through hiking is you think you're so oh it's gonna be an easy touristy spot but then you forget you still gotta walk all those miles before it on top of the rest of your day so you get tired before you even get there we're making sure to stay extra hydrated after what happened to nemo and i've been seeing in the comments Actually, a few people have asked me a few questions, so I'm answer that. Uh, one person asked me, how do I keep my feet dry? And believe it or not, these shoes have netting on them, which that's my duct tape where I sewed it in a hole in it, but and they don't keep your shoes dry. A lot of people try to do waterproof shoes and waterproof socks. I don't really like that because it's only a matter of time for water gets inside of it. I just go with the tactic of my feet are gonna get wet, so I keep a spare pair of socks. And I sleep in the dry pair. And then the next day, if it's sunny like this, I put them on my pack to dry out the wet ones and wear the dry ones the next day. But that's first question answered. And I'll get back with more answers later. See you guys later. Up top to McAfee Knob. After a long climb. You can see T-Bone and Iron Will over there. We're chilling out up here, waiting for sunset. We still got ways to go. Probably about eight o'clock. Wonderful view ahead of us. You can see Tinker's Cliffs <laughs> straight across from us. We'll be going through there tomorrow morning. And then hopefully down the other side of the mountain or actually we'll go down around that ridge line right there and down into Delville on the other side. So just a wonderful end to another part of the day. We'll get more videos and pictures here in a bit. So we're up here on top of McAfee Knob and 
The picture doesn't do it. No, just you can see the airport down there. This is just absolutely stunning. And lights. To a lot of people, it may not seem that beautiful, but whenever you're just in the wilderness and get a flashback to what civilization really is, it's just a awe-inspiring moment. It looks as busy as Atlanta. The moon is bright. It goes all the way past, like over to the right and everything. Correct. Can you see the star? All right. We'll get back to you guys tomorrow morning with sunrises. We'll see you guys then. We are this morning. Sadly, the sunrise was blocked out by the clouds, so didn't get too good of pictures this morning. But today, we will be going down this ridge, down these power lines. There's a shelter right in there. Then we will cut across that ridge there, all the way to over there on that hill. That's Tinker Cliffs. Then we will drop down behind it and hit the town of Delville over in there. So, we ain't got a far walk. It looks pretty. Uh, we all slept really well. Nemo seemed to really enjoy having just a really nice place to sleep with good views. So, it's boosted morale pretty good. We're going to try and get into town. Uh, my package is kind of lost in the mail, I guess, technically, because... The problem is it's a government facility, the post office, and it's a holiday weekend. So I don't think I'll get my post I don't think I'll get my package from the post office till Monday morning. So we're just taking it slow. So Huh? Yeah, no. Just this morning. So Alright, we'll talk to you guys later and get back to y'all once we get down off this hill. Here we are at one of our viewpoints today. Up on a set of ledges. It's been windy this morning. We're already doing pretty good on top. We'll get back to you guys at Tinker Cliffs. So we're up on Tinker Cliff. You can see just wonderful views all the way around. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely wonderful, really. Right there at that peak. God dang, the wind's strong. It's not my phone around. That peak right there, that's McAfee Knob. That's where we came from. So last night in the video I posted, or, well, I recorded. Y'all notice that I was looking at these cliffs over here. With Nemo and me and I was saying that's Tinker Cliffs so that's where we're at right now we just hit Tinker Cliff and I think we're gonna push on down to the shelter just because the wind's so strong it makes it kind of hard to enjoy to be honest so we will maybe we'll get back to you guys kind of a little later whenever we get down it's been pretty good my hip bothered me a little bit yesterday but I'm feeling better uh, Nemo had a rough start this morning, and we'll get back to you guys later. Just wanted to share with you guys, there's a white blaze, but the trail just runs right along this cliff all the way across the ridge. So we got beautiful views all day today. Absolutely wonderful. Just wanted to share some more. It started out really cloudy, it messed up our sunrise, but this hot winds blew most of the clouds out, so that's nice. Alright, we'll probably get walking, I don't want to have my phone out, because in case I fall I don't just topple over and lose my phone, so. We'll be in Delville here in a bit, or down at the shelter, eating. Probably cook some noodles up and eat some tuna. I'm just trying to lock my loads since we're going in town today. Go ahead and pig out a little bit. So, see y'all later. So we just left shelter. Sun's come out. Absolutely gorgeous now. I ate some tuna. Drank me a liter of Mountain Dew. 
Nemo had Bana banana, banana chips, banana applesauce, chips, Nutella, and, and salt and vinegar Pringles. So she's revved up, ready to go. I got extra water for both of us on my pack. And then we are just still boogalooing along. So we'll head up. Yeah, we're feeling a lot better. We're going to go up about a mile and then we'll be back up on the ridge again and then we'll walk it all the way into town where we will pass some of our first big rocks that's always fun along the trail we'll see different rock formations stuff like that which are kind of cool looking so it's fun to see but we'll get back to you guys here in a bit whenever we get up top of this climb sadly i need both hands to do that so we'll see y'all then just kind of here this is Actually, one of the nicer sections of the trails. We got new bridges. There's a blue blaze over there, but I think it goes down to the lake. But we'll go to the left here and go up this ridge. But still, it's just a nice piece of trail. Good little streams. Nemo's over there trying to get water for her. It's just a beautiful, beautiful day in spring. Day for Easter. We got a few of us all meeting up outside of Delville. We gotta wait for a package on Monday, so we're just kinda taking our time. But our group keeps growing one person at a time. It's kinda fun. You meet new people out here with similar experiences or they come from the same area as you and you guys just all kinda hike together. It's been a lot of fun. I'll probably start putting them a little bit more in the video now that they've stuck around a little while. Nemo's Morale's been doing real good. She's been having a lot of trouble with, like dietary, drinking water stuff, but if you've never done anything like this, it's really hard to get all that down. Specifically water. This year's been really dry compared to what I did in 2019, so I've been even adjusting to trying to remember to grab extra water and packing it out. Used to, I used to keep just one smart water bottle filled up on my side right there, but now I gotta keep both of them pretty full on each side. Just that way I got enough to drink on for... Because like now, you think, oh, well, 10 miles to the next water, so that's not bad. But 10 miles takes us about mm, 3 to 5 hours. And then usually by the time we get done with it, you've gained and lost elevation. You've walked in the sun, gone up and down all day. It drains it out of you. And then we end up in another scenario like we did going in Four Pines. But... Yeah, that's why it's just important to get water. I just thought I'd kind of share a little bit of more of what's going on around here. Alright, we'll get back to you guys here. Up on the next set of cliffs, outside of Delville. Starting to see more civilization, not just agriculture. You can see a car driving down there. It's so pretty! Yeah, so... Definitely recommend doing at least day hikes here in Virginia. Yeah, this northern section of Virginia, Nemo is learning what we've talked about now is that it's like magic. As soon as you get up here and get above McAfee Knob, it's just like a switch. Flick, boom, easy trails. But, oh yeah, it's absolutely wonderful up here. People just living their lives down there. All them little cows, all the moo-moos, they don't even know we're here. There's a house right over there completely isolated, and mm -hmm. I want it. <laughs> There's the quarry over back that away. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the Virginia Valley. This is one of the big stops on the AT, not because of touristy reasons, but just because it's just really easy to get really beautiful views up here. Everything else is such low elevation when you're the only, up on the only high spot in the whole state, it does that. But, all right. We ain't got much further to go. The trail's looking like this, just kind of rocky, sandy. We only got about, oh, there's Nemo. She's chilling out by it. Six miles to go. Yeah, about like six or seven miles. So we're, we're going to be there quick. I'm going to call the barbecue restaurant to fill us camp out behind them for a night. But we'll get back to you we guys are. here in a bit. Looking down at suburbia. It's weird. You get away from it for so long and... You look back on something like that, it kind of makes you sick. So you just kind of turn around and look down at the ground and don't look up. 
just keep pretending because off to our right is hundreds of miles of wilderness a lake and beautiful mountains and then you look off to your left and it's just boom mankind we just keep creeping on her a little bit at a time i guess but we're almost to the town so we'll probably go hang out at kroger or the barbecue joint this evening if we can see if the less tin out behind them hopefully but we'll get back to you guys here in a bit i'm sweating like a dog climbing up this thing Here we are up at Hay Rock. Absolutely wonderful rock. Give it a 10 out of 10 rating. This is really massive boulders. It's just really cool. Yeah, just paint over graffiti. Sad. But thankfully, Trail Angels come down here and paint over the paint. So blends in naturally to color brown they use be a good bouldering area it's pretty all right we're gonna keep heading to town slowly but surely just one last look just one last look at where we were over there's mcafee knob then over there's tinker cliffs behind that tree and then we've walked this ridge all the way over here just to do one big old circle here it is from our point of view how far out it is. It's how far 16 miles can get you moving around. So I just started to take down our tent, but this is where we slept at last night, just uh, hidden away from town. You can kind of see the tops of the buildings over there, and over here you can see Kroger. So whenever everybody asks me, they're like, you took your fiance hiking on the Appalachian Trail? I'm like, no, 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 I took her living a homeless person life out behind the Kroger begging for change all the way up to Maine. So <laughs> we're going to hang out at Kroger this morning. I was going to wait for the Outfitters to open, but they're not open either because it's Easter. So happy Easter to everyone. And now we're just going to hang out at Kroger and resupply and take our time with it. Probably get some lunch and Head on up to the Super 8 and take a shower, do laundry, and charge everything up. And hopefully tomorrow I can hit the outfitter and the post office because of terrible timing. <laughs> 